Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be all about the slime light sketchbook I bought recently. I first heard of the slime light sketchbook on Twitter. Some Twitter artists I follow say that they use the sketchbook more than the more expensive ones they own. So I got interested and since the current sketchbooks I have uh, running out of pages, I thought it would be a great time to try out a new sketchbook. So the two sketchbooks I own are the Strathmore one you guys saw in a previous video and the Peter Popper sketchbook. It's this black sketchbook you see all the time in fully booked if you are in the Philippines and they're both great sketchbooks. I really like the Strathmore one but I don't like how it's with a ring binder and the paper proper one is fine it's if the paper's not that thick but it's still a good sketchbook i also took advantage of this i guess promo they're having you can buy two pieces for 200 pesos as well maybe i'll review this craft sketchbook in another video i'll be testing out this line light sketchbook with the himi mia or mia himi gouache and the Reeves gouache, it's in this little case now, but it originally comes in tubes and paint in tubes really isn't my thing. That's why it's all dried up, but it still works fine. I first tested out the Limelight sketchbook with some swatches of the gouache. The first side I'm doing is with the Reeves gouache. I got it on Lazada for 200 pesos. I will link the actual store I got it from in the description box below. The sketchbook comes in many colors. Uh, it comes in spring green, sky blue, hot pink, rose, green, and violet. And I got the one in rose because it, it just seemed the cutest to me. According to the description on its Lazada page, it has 120 GSM thickness, it comes with a page marker or a bookmark, it has a back pocket for whatever stationery or papers you might want to put in there, it also comes with a garter lock so it won't keep on flipping open for whatever reason. think is better. Personally for me, the Reese gouache, it's it's kinda chalky for me. The colors are fine, the vibrancy is great, but the finish of the paint is just chalky to me. The Yahimi gouache, I just love the colors of this paint set. The next test and the real test is making a whole painting with this sketchbook. I really love how flat the sketchbook lays, so for the first time I'm trying a full spread painting.
the picture of the reference image I used. I chose this image because of the boats at the side. I never really paint boats, so I, it caught my eye. I thought it was interesting. So, yeah. To make this more interesting, I challenged myself to finish this painting within 15 minutes. This way, I could really test out how well the paper could handle gouache because when I paint really fast, I don't really pay attention to the amount of water I use with the paint. In the middle of painting, I realized I actually didn't start the 15 minute timer, so I guess this painting really isn't done within 15 minutes, it's more like 20, 30 minutes. My iPad ran out of memory and I lost a lot of footage and you won't see me actually finish the painting. I hope I'll be getting a new phone for my birthday which is coming in a week or by the time you're watching this I think it's a day before my birthday or it's already my birthday, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm thinking of getting a new phone and with that new phone comes a better camera and more memory, more storage. So I'll be using that phone to film videos. Yay! So here is the finished painting. Final thoughts on the sketchbook. I find it comparable to the Peter Popper sketchbook. Just the thickness of the paper is about the same and both can handle wash really well despite the paper not being as thick as the Strathmore mixed major paper. I also like that there's a back pocket. I don't really know what to put in the back pocket with but I like that it's there. So wherever you are, if the Limelight sketchbook is available to you, I highly recommend it. It's really affordable and it can handle what needs you pretty well for my standards. And who knows, this might be your new favorite sketchbook. So that's it. I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyable. And thanks for watching. Bye.